Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, have a look at this. Well, I seen a video the other day on, um, they call him the mower doctor or something like that. And um, he, he had a video out where, how to trim your paths by just releasing your locking nuts on the head of your cutter. Take your guard off so you can see. And the locking head, you can actually unscrew two screws or three, whatever it's got and you actually turn it at a uh, 90 degree angle. So instead of holding your brush cutter on a funny weird size and all that type of stuff, you can just unscrew that, turn it 90 degrees, and then you're just holding it as per normal and just running along the pathway. So it actually works quite well. It actually works bloody good. Sometimes it gets a little bit monkey and runs away on me, but like I said, it's the first time I've done it, so it's actually working quite well. And the thing is, you need good quality line, guys. You can't use that cheap shit. Like before, when I was in the Philippines, when I first got my, I'm well, still in the Philippines now, of course. But when I first got the uh, my brush cutters, the the ones from in town, I think they start off at nine grand, then you got them down, and it finally went down to six. Well, all you could get was this 200 pound fishing line. That's what we used to use. Was this stuff here, and you cut it into um, cut it into six inch bits with the knots on the end, and you feed it through the head, and uh, you just go out with a handful of those strapped on in your pocket and you just do all your cutting. But uh, what I did get sent to me by Andrew Martin was these. So good high, oh, my glasses. Ugh. Good high quality type. So this one here, look, this is the uh, the platinum gat gator line, super twist. So this is 2.4 mil, is this one here. And I'll tell you, on the concrete, it doesn't wear down very fast. Normally what we use is this one here that he sent. This is the steel one and uh, this is the same, this is 2.7. But um, this one I found is it, on a concrete it does wear down quicker than this one here. So this is the baby that I am using now for doing the paths. Is this baby here. So it works quite well guys. Pro tested as well. Oh, sounds a bit fucking erotic doesn't it? So so, I'll show you how it works. So one thing I found is it's easy for me to walk backwards and do it, instead of running forward. You've got to remember, this one is a real heavy machine, this one. It's a heavy bucket. Get over here, darling, on the cutter. Down here, darling, you've got to be doing this. You go and the best thing is you're holding the machine <laughs> never put a woman in a fucking camera i tell you best thing is you hold the machine up normal so you're not doing that upside down twisting some people put them on their shoulder shit and all that stuff just turn it over and when i finish i'll just rotate it back again so there it is guys it actually works i said backwards for me works better Walking backwards for me works better than actually trying to push forward. And without having a guard on, you can see exactly where you're going. And like I said, when I finish all the parts, I'll just put it all back together again. That's how simple it is. But as you know, I always have my Achilles heel is this grass. Now, voila. And then I'll just trim it up with a mower around the side. So there you go, guys. If you're gonna cut your paths on your brush cutter, rotate your head 90 degrees. Bob's your uncle. See you later, guys. Right, so I've just blown down the paths, guys. So it's the first time that she's been cut like this. So um, I said I'm happy with it, but it still needs more. But I think give it time after a couple of cuts, it will come quite good once I get that trench cut down into it. But uh, look at that. It's done it good. I am happy. So turn it 90 degrees. Got the taste buds are on top of your tongue. Turn your bread upside down. Yes. How many Aussies remember that song from the TV commercial? All right, it worked quite good, so I'm happy. All right, guys, you're gonna say TTFN, sweating like anything. So overcasty too, so I'm lucky. All right, guys, catch you later, bye-bye.